Hello friends, welcome. GK Today presents a daily GK and current affairs quiz for 26th of April 2017. So moving on to question number 1. So question number 1 states, which, state, which country has appointed Hana Khatib as the first female judge in its Muslim Sharia court system? So the choices are Iran, Israel, Palestine or Iraq. So the correct choice is B, that is Israel. So Hana Khatib uh, has been recently appointed by Israel as the first female judge in its Muslim Sharia court. Its Muslim Sharia court system. So Hana Khatib is an attorney from northern town of Tamra. She, has an, she is already an attorney from northern town of Tamra and was selected by an Israeli justice committee to become a religious judge or a Qadi. So she is now become a Qadi or a religious judge in the courts ruling on personal law for Muslims inside Israel. Now Khatib is the first woman not only for the Muslim Sharia courts but also for all the religious courts in Israel as no women serve as judges in Jewish or Druze courts. Now because of this her appointment is a precedent for Israel. She will, uh, will be sworn in by Israeli uh, President Reuven Rivlin in a few weeks time. So moving on to question number 2. Man Kaur, who has won gold at 2017 World Masters Games, is associated with which sports? Choices, sprint, shot put, wushu or table tennis. So the correct choice is A, that is sprint. Now she is 101 years old, 101 year old. Uh, an athlete from India has recently won gold and uh, in the 100 meters she has won gold in 100 meters sprint uh, at the World Masters Games in Auckland, New Zealand on 24th of April. She completed the race in 1 minute 14 seconds and was the only athlete to complete in her age category. So she scored her 17th gold medal for her athletic career which started at the age of 93. So this is her 17th gold medal. Moving on to question number 3. What is the theme of 2017 World Intellectual Property Day? Choices are A. Digital Creativity, Culture Reimagined or Creativity, the Next Generation C. Innovation, Improving Lives or D. Green Innovation So the correct choice is C. That is Innovation improving lives. So the World Intellectual Property Day is uh, celebrated every year on April 26th uh, to learn about the role that intellectual property rights that is like patents, trademarks, industrial designs, copyright play in encouraging innovation and creativity. So the, uh, the theme is innovation improving lives. Uh, to explore how innovation is making our lives healthier, safer and more comfortable. Moving on to question 4. Which state will become the first Indian state to invite all Twitter and Facebook users to interact with the Chief Minister? Choices are Uttar Pradesh, Karnataka, Kerala or D. Haryana. So the correct choice is Haryana which will become the first Indian state to invite all Twitter and Facebook users to interact with Chief Minister Manohar Lal. Now this was disclosed basically in a workshop on social media grievance uh, redressal mechanism uh, which was held at Panchkula. So the state government will launch an integrated social media grievances tracker that is Twitter and Facebook for faster and real time redressal of grievances pertaining to different departments. This will be done on 15th of May. So moving on to the question number 5. Uh, who is the newly elected president for, of Amateur Kabaddi Federation of India? Choices are uh, Mridul Badoria, K. E. Prabhakar, Dinesh Patel or V. Vilankaya. So the correct choice is A. That is Mridul Badoria. Dr. Mridul Badoria has been elected as the new president of Amateur Kabaddi Federation of India. Now, apart from her, Dinesh Patel has also been elected as a new secretary. Uh, now, Dinesh Patel is a new secretary 
general of AKFI and these elections were held under the supervision of Justice I.S. Isra, uh, Israni. So basically AKFI or Amateur Kabaddi Federation of India is a central institution to administrate and promote Kabaddi in India. So besides this, AKFI also aims at improving the standard of the sport in the neighboring countries of India. Moving on to question number 6. The International Conference on Dara Shiko, Reclaiming Spiritual Legacy of India, will be held in which city? Choices are Bhopal, New Delhi, Hyderabad or B. Lucknow. So the correct choice is B. New Delhi. So this uh, conference uh, will be organized by Indian Council of Cultural Relations and will be held at New Delhi and will see participation of eminent scholars from US, Iran, Afghanistan, Tajikistan, Uzbekistan, Kazakhstan and India. Now the primary purpose is to highlight Dara Shiko's contribution to bring about spiritual homogenization of Hinduism and Islam and its initiatives in building a cohesive social and cultural edifice in India. Question number 7. Who has been conferred with the Ghanta Sala National Award? Choices are Asha Bhosle, Ramalengeswara Rao, Vani Jairam or D. Anand Bhaskar. So the correct choice is C. Vani Jairam. Now she is a versatile singer and has been conferred with this award, this national award on 23rd of April. Uh, she is known in North as Meera Bhai. She is also known as Meera Bhai in the North for her rendition of songs sung by the medieval poet in praise of Lord Krishna. So uh, moving on to the next question. The World Lab Animal Day is observed on which day? Choices are April 24th, April 25th, April 26th or April 27th. So the cho correct choice is A that is April 24th. So the World Day for Animals in Laboratory also known as World Lab Animal Day is observed every year on 24th of April. To mark the birthday of the former National Anti Vivisection Society President Hugh Hugh Dowding. Uh, now, today the event is marked by demonstrations and protests by groups opposed to the use of animals in research. So, moving on to question number 9. Credi has recently inked MOU with SBI for concessional loan for housing projects. Now, where are the headquarters of Kritai? Choices are A. Kochi, B. Pune, C. New Delhi, or D. Chennai. So, the correct choice is C. New Delhi. So, the Confederation of Real Estate Developers Association of India. So, that is what Kritai stands for. Confederation, Confederation of Real Estate Developers Association Association of India. So has signed this MOU with SPI to provide loans at a concessional rate to builders as well as customers for afford affordable housing projects. So moving on to the final question for the quiz. The 5th edition of Indo-French Naval Exercise Varuna has started in which sea ports? Choices are Port of Culon, Vizag Port or Vishakhapatnam Port, Pochi Port or the final uh, last choice is Toulon Port. So the correct choice is D that is Toulon Port. So the 15th edition of Indo-French Naval Exercise Varuna has started at Toulon port on southern France's Mediterranean coast uh, to deepen combat coordination between the two navies. So the purpose of this exercise is to underscore India's peaceful presence and solidarity with friendly and like-minded countries towards ensuring good order in the maritime domain. So with this we come to a close of today's quiz. Thank you so much for your patience.